Hi, YouTube. Whew. I have a long day today. Guess what I am doing today? There are three steps that I got to do. And the first one is going to be cleaning chicken. Yes, let me show you what I have to clean first. Let me put my gloves on. This is what I am cleaning today. Let me show you. Let me show you guys. See? When I finish, there will be no fat on this piece of chicken here. I don't eat this part, so I don't know if this is called the, I don't know. My husband loved this part of the chicken. My husband loved this part of the chicken. My daughter loved this part of the chicken, and I love this part of the chicken. But this little piece here, there's two parts to the breast. Hopefully, I remember to show you guys. Um, there are two parts of the breast here that has to be um, revealed. So, I might can do it on this one. This is already separated. So, I'm going to flip it over. I got to, no, I can do it with my other hand because my other hand is not wet with the thing on it. And, of course, I have my soap water here. Got to have that. I'm gonna switch my glove. I'm gonna bring you, I'm gonna bring y'all closer. Let's see how close I can bring you to right here so you can actually see me um, cleaning the chicken. Let me see, maybe a little more. But I will be picking it up so you guys can see. See? All that fat there. I take the scissors and go chop. I'm going to do one part of each chicken so you guys can see me the way I clean. All the chicken, I have eight, 12, I have 24 pieces of chicken here to clean. It's gonna take me a while to clean all 24 pieces. But I'm gonna show you the steps that I take to clean each one. So I just showed you basically, um, sometimes if this part here is a little bit too much, I will cut that off, this part here. But it's not that big, so I'll let that one stay. So, I'm going to show you the steps for me cleaning this part of the chicken. I don't know if it's a thigh or I don't know which I don't know if you call, you guys call this a thigh or do you call this a thigh with a drumstick? I don't know. Cuz I don't usually eat that part of the chicken. Okay, so first of all, I flip it over on the skin side. And all this part here that is hanging I take my scissors and I snip it all the way around. All the way around. Anything that's hanging comes off. Okay, that's the first part of the skin. Now, there is fat here that I'm going to remove with my knife. What's my knife? Oh my God, I didn't get my knife. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to re-put me on some gloves, so I have. So what I usually do is I take this fat and I scrape it off in the garbage. I lift up the skin, I lift up the skin. You see all that fat in there? All that fat in there. I scrape it off with the knife. 
And the reason I do all this extra cleaning for the chicken is because this is gonna be, unfortunately, you guys won't see me fry this chicken. This is gonna be my, um, I'm cleaning this one this way and getting all this out is because I'm doing um, buttermilk chicken. Yeah, I'm going over to my um, sister-in-law's house and I'm gonna fry her some buttermilk chicken. So I have to make sure that it's clean. So now I got that out. I'm going to see there's fat in there. Hope you guys can see this. There's fat in there. I slide it, sl slither it right there. You see, all that fat just squeezes out. And what I do is take it out. Because when you fry, this is what causes chicken to start popping. Because all that fat start, um, the heat start getting to the fat. So I take all the fat out. So if you ever want to know why um, your chicken always popping every time you fry it, it's because there's too much fat inside where the bone is. And if you don't get it all out, that's what causes all the popping to, to go. You see? I slither all that fat out. I have a garbage here. You would get to know me. I have always have a garbage next to me when I'm cooking, always. Okay, so I got my jar out of fat out, just a little tiny piece of it, but that won't matter because it's so small, it evaporated in the, in the oil. You open it up. Y'all don't know what I go through. I slither it again, and you believe it or not, there's more fat in there. And this is why it takes so long to cook. Because all that fat got to come out. See all that? I take all that out. <sighs> Now tell me I don't love to cook. Cause look what I go through. I don't do this often. It's just that some people like only certain parts of the chicken. And for me, I only eat the breast. So I take all that fat out, all that fat out in there. See, that's nothing but a piece of, um, what it is, the vein or whatever. But see, there's no fat inside that chicken. I took it all out. So, okay, I showed you how I did that one. Now for the leg. Okay, usually it depends on how I am, thought I put it in the garbage, how I am cooking the chicken to determine if I am going to leave the skin on the leg. Sometimes, like this leg, is, it probably just has some, um, some slime on it. It only will show once you put it in the water. I'll show you that once I get some rinse them off in the water. Let me see if I can find one that has some fat on it. Like this one has fat on it. I take all the fat off. All fat comes off all the time. So this one ain't showing. Yeah, it's slime on here. But if you guys know when y'all clean the chicken, if you pay attention when you put it in the water, you get this, um, um, what do they call it? Um, when they're scared to eat chicken because they know they worried about it. Um, salmonella, yeah. See, that's what it is. See, some and look how they cut these. Uh, they, you guys, there. When my husband we bought this from Restaurant Depot and they cheating us on the breast, they really are because. Uh, you already know this is this is part of the breast that they still have attached to the chicken because the part of the chicken is here. This part is folds here across it. It folds across the bone part here, and they just they just cut the breast. They left. Look at it. All every single one of them. I'm just looking at it now. Has a piece of the breast on it. Wow. 
I'll be cutting the skin off of it though, because that's not gonna happen. So let me see what other, mm, I'm gonna get one that's really, ugh. See, now the breast, I don't need the skin on my breast because it, I gotta get all that seminola off of it. All that sliminess that's there, all that has to come off. When I found that they don't clean their chicken properly on the breast, I don't, I just don't get chicken. That's why I'm looking at the chicken breast part. If the chicken breast still has the skin on it, because really, everything that the skin is attached, the breast is attached to, is the part that you can't eat off a of chicken. So, you should just cut it all off. I don't save any of it. Beautiful piece of breast. Beautiful. Pe now, let me show you guys something. If you ever wonder why when you get a breast that it always separates, it always has a little separation here, it's because that's your tender. That's the part, see, it comes right off. It separates all of you. See that little vein there? It separates. That's your tender. That's how they do it. That's how they get you guys. It comes right off here. I'm trying to show you without cutting all the meat off, but it's, it's going to let me do it. And I have a chicken tender. And then they just serve you guys the rest of the chicken like this. Or they can probably take this off and give it to you. But if they just wanted, um, just give you chicken with no, uh, order the chicken sandwich. See, there go your chicken sandwich right there. This part. And then this backbone here, they don't really use that. They usually throw this part away. This part gets thrown in the garbage. It doesn't have to be. It depends on the way they cut it. But this basically... It's your boneless chicken right here, breast. Right here. Yeah. But I usually leave, um, take this neck, I take this part off. This part right here gets... Ah! Cause that's the backbone. See, that's the little backbone of the, oops. That's the little backbone of the chicken. I go through a lot to clean off I do. So we so I take the breast bone here and I scrape. Cause seminola is there all over chicken breast. Scrape. I'll find that when I put it in the water. But basically, clean chicken breast. So I showed you guys how to clean the breast, the leg, the wing. Well, I wish they would have cut it better so I can actually show you the real cleaning of the wing. And I think this is a thigh. You see that's that's just a beautiful skin here with no fat in it. I took all the fat out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna clean it all and then I'm gonna come back and show you the finishing. Um, look up I finished, have everything clean and ready to be prepped to be seasoned. Okay, I will show you a little clip of how the chicken looks in the water to show you what floats in the water on the chicken when you actually think that it's clean when it's really not clean. Okay? This is why it takes so long for seasonings to um, stick to the chicken because it still has to pass through all that seminola and all that fat and all that um, oily skin. I'll show you how what I do about that oily skin. Okay? 
I'll be back when I am finished cleaning all 24 pieces of this chicken, okay? Already been cleaning the chicken for an hour. I believe I've been cleaning for an hour. So here we go. And this one has, whoo! Look at all that on there. There's no. <sighs> wow, look at that. I don't know how they do it, but all this fat is coming off. Flip it over, scrape that fat off. <sighs> I'm gonna show you guys just how much fat I have in this bag once I finish. Cause my husband wants to save it and he's gonna boil it a little bit. And then he's gonna give it to the dogs. This, that's gonna be their treat. Oh, hope I had it up. Scrape all that fat out. Hmm. Then I take this there, right there with that V. Sometimes it's a whole lot of fat. It just swithers out, spits out. When it's not a lot like this, it just sits there. But I still take it out. Because y'all don't understand. If y'all were to clean y'all this part of the chicken like that, it cooks faster. For sure. I tested that theory out. I cleaned the fat all around it, but then I left just a little bit of fat inside with the bone at. And... It tended to took longer because now the fat's trying to cook all the blood and all the vein vessels and stuff. So they want all one one minute. Sorry guys, sometimes they get carried away. All the car has to do is drive by. All somebody gotta do is stop. All the truck gotta do is just stop by and say hi to somebody that's walking. And oh my God, they just go crazy. It don't be for us. They're not even showing aggression, whoever's out there toward us. It's just the dogs don't want them to stop, period, in front of our house. So back to what I was doing was cleaning this chicken. Let's see here. See, I can get all that fat under there. I open it up. <laughs> and the sad part about it is that I'm not even the one eating this part of the chicken. But just knowing that it's in there and I gave it to somebody, I wouldn't feel right. So I pull the veins out. This one makes the blood come when you're cooking it because it goes through the veins. So, yeah. I mean, y'all take your time. You know, 
when it's going to hurt. Do it on a day that you're home and you don't have nothing to do, but and you're getting ready to cook dinner. Then you have time to sit here and clean your chicken. Don't choose to cook chicken on a day that you know that you don't have time to clean it. Last one. Do it on a day that you're, you, you have time to do it. Or if you do have time, you know you're only going to eat one piece or you don't feel like doing all this that I'm doing, then just grab your leg or a breast or something and if, if, that's, if you eat those parts. If you don't, I don't know. For me, I'll take my time because I knew I was taking this to her. I just want to make sure it was clean. So. I might have to get up, I don't know, early, early. Depends on what time he wants to go. I got to cook this chicken. Now I have to rinse the chicken off. Let me take off my glove and show you how much fat I have in this bag. Well, I gotta put on at least one to show you guys the, the fat. My hands are a little sweaty wearing the gloves. So I'm gonna turn you guys around. See all the fat that's in the bag? This is nothing but fat that came off this chicken. See the breast? All my breast is nice and clean. See, when when you there's still some loose fats in there. You see the loose fat coming up? In the water? Yeah. That's the loose fat. But the chicken is nice and clean. Oh, is that a fat? You finna get cut off. I might can pull you. Yep, yeah, see? Nice and clean off. Let me see the leg, the wing, the legs. Let me see. Let me turn the water on and show you guys what I'm talking about. This one goes there. Oh, it doesn't have it. I'll probably scrape it off good enough. I wanted to show you guys the legs. But right now, I need to clean the chicken. Well, this was the first process of cleaning, but now I have to wash clean it. Okay? All right. Hey, mommy. The chicken. I saw your car. Oh, okay, I, <laughs> <laughs> I just finished showing them how I um, clean it. I told him I wish he was here. So you can help me. Ha, ha, ha. When it took so long. No, I'm good. <laughs> what? What's going on, brother? How much they have to concentrate? Oh, there's no gas in there. Really? They have a gas truck. They're probably pumping gas now, but they probably closed off somebody with gas and put gas in. That's why I, uh, when I came, when I uh, was um, coming home yesterday, he was putting gas. When I left this morning, he was putting gas. Put the, the gas truck. The truck. Yeah. He's doing another one. But they said it wasn't hitting up. It's not, they, 
He's gonna hit us. People don't know how to stop. Just spin up the freaking gas tank. Oh my God. He, literally, the hit gonna hit when the government said, don't panic. People panic. Really? They do the opposite. Wow. Yeah. Because me and, um, me and the admin was talking about it today. And she said that, well, it was this guy came and he said that it was only happening to, uh, what state did he say? He I mean, said, I, I really don't think it's desperate. I think if people come from Georgia, coming into Florida, get gas and going back up. Why, Florida was the one that's out? Florida, Georgia's going out. I told Georgia says we hit. Oh. So I literally think of people in Georgia coming down to Florida, get gas and going back up. Really? Yeah. They try to make us get empty. The floor's not really in the mouth getting hit because we just. But people in Georgia, they're they, they going to die. Look, off with this Lysol wipes because just in case some juice fell on you. Okay, my YouTube family. Chicken is clean. Ready to be seasoned. I think her voice, she knows, and her voice has to be an echo. So, my YouTube family, that was the way that I clean chicken, getting ready to be fried with some goodness. So, you guys have a wonderful and a safe day. I hope you enjoyed the contest of my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified when next video is up. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts down below in my bio. So y'all have a wonderful and a safe, blessed day. Bye.